Hello everybody, Salty Walty is back. I have a match in the seventh Gundam. This was requested by Viscarian. Uh, I screwed up and I didn't change the head to the bone color that it's supposed to be because this is supposed to be based off of a, uh, oh heck, it's some type of, uh, assassin from Warhammer 40k. I just, I have never been able to remember, like, the name of it, of that assassin. Uh, go away. And, uh, we were playing this match together and I told him, I, I started freaking out because I didn't get the, I forgot to change the head's color. And, uh, the, I think it was the, uh, the, uh, the Colaxis Assassin, I think, if that's pronounced right, I'm doubtful that it is, but, uh, uh, it's essentially a, a batshit insane, crazy, uh, uh, assassin, and, uh, what, like, he, he's hyped up on drugs and stuff like that to, you know, keep him going and, you know, fight like, like, he's nuts, and, uh, that, that's essentially his job is he you know they point him at a target like they're he's drugged before battle to in, in, a, in a sarcophagus to allow him not to do anything and then they start hyping his body up with a bunch of drugs and then drop him in they program his brain uh, while he's in that sarcophagus and then you know tell you know through the programming and such tell him uh, and you know, program him what he has to do, and, uh, you know, after all of that, he, he, uh, he's dropped into, uh, as close as he needs to, you know, get, and then he, he does his thing, and then he proceeds to, uh, murder in cold blood anybody or anything that's in his way, and some of the, some of the equipment, equipment that, uh, Coaxis, uh, Assassin can get, it, like he's got this weird pain gauntlet some of them uh, like to carry like one touch from that can just you know cause your flesh to bubble and burst and explode you don't want to get by even space marines can't you know survive a strike from that like it, it, if that hits it, it can cause the entire body to explode in some disgusting explode uh, look at this laggy Dallas watch this he like teleport Oh boy, yeah, there we go. And then he gets up and then somehow is just like... It, so, watch. It's just weird, like, this this is happening all day yesterday, like, some of the weirdest... Some of the weirdest lag I've ever had to deal with. But, like, it's, it's some... Some of the... Some of the things that you find in Warhammer 40k is some of the... It's kind of nauseating with some of the shit that you, uh, you see, like, uh... Uh, like the life eater virus, which uh, is part of an exterminatus plan. Where, like they'll drop these virus bombs onto a planet, and it it has such a high metabolism rate. The virus does, and what happens is that it, once you're infected, you're screwed. You're like there's because you're gonna be dead within about 20 seconds, and uh, it starts with your eyes, you know. Turn it uh, liquefying, then your fl uh, flesh starts to slough off your skeleton, and to the point where even your your bones are liquefied, and it's all flammable, and it starts producing gas that's flammable, and then it proceeds to uh, you know infect everybody. It, it affects everything. It, you know, it turns the planet into uh, uh, anything that's liquid or has life to it. It will be infected, and it uh, this life eater virus tr it transmits through anything. You know, uh, you you have to be in an absolute airtight uh, bunker for it not to hit you. But if there's a even a sliver of a crack anywhere in the bunker, you're you're dead. You're you're going to die because it's going to get in, and then all that's left to do to that planet after it's been infected, uh, but, because after, after, you know, if the life of your virus doesn't get into somebody within, like, two to three minutes, it dies out, because it's such, it's got such a high metabolism, it kills itself out, but, like, after everything's done and, 
over with. Uh, all you have to do is fire one incendiary shot into the atmosphere, and due to due to the life eater virus, it uh, the planet will become a uh, firestorm, and it's you're dead. Like it'll just cook the planet. Um, but yeah, like it, it's some scary shit in Warhammer 40k. Like it's not something. Like uh, I love Warhammer 40k because of it, because it's it's violent, but it also tells a, a really good story. Depending on the writer, like I wouldn't read anything from C C S Gato or Matt Ward. Those two, the like C S Gato gives everybody multi lasers, which makes no sense, and then you've got um, Matt Ward who just who takes everything that is. Uh, uh, you know, he he has the biggest hard on for Ultramarines. That's that's kind of why like Ultramarines get like the really shitty end of the stick and get made fun of. It's just is mainly due to Matt Ward. Oh hey, there's the enemy team. But um, yeah, Matt Ward's a Matt Ward's a piece of shit. Like he and then you know his his continuous dick sucking of Grey Knights and and uh. Ultramarines really just turned a lot of people off. Like it, he really didn't make the the game fun to get to. Like, uh, he made the Ultramarines and Grey Knights absolutely just the most indestructible thing armies to fight. Like you couldn't beat them. And uh, he, he's like, oh yeah, the the Ultramarines are like what every chapter aspires to be. You're like, no, that's a crock of shit. Um, like, you know, I don't, I don't know. Like, there, there are some really stupid writers for Warhammer 40k, and there's some really, 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 really good ones. And Matt Ward and CS Gato are definitely not the good ones. Uh, I used to follow uh, a few of them on Twitter, but like everybody just went political for whatever reason and stopped even talking about their own, their own books and stuff. And then I just st stopped following them because it's just like, man, I don't. I don't, I try to stay away from politics because it, it, you know, you lose friends when politics ever get involved in, uh, into, uh, conversations and stuff because, you know, you're, you're just not allowed to have fun or, you know, believe or follow what you want to follow and shit like that because, you know. So I, I, that's why, you know, no politic rule in my Discord and shit like that, but like, I don't know, people just suck the fun out of shit when they find out what you follow. Ooh, teleport, did you guys see that? He teleported again. But yeah, that's my match in the 7th Gundam, I hope you enjoyed it, Viscarian. Um, a little Warhammer 40k lore and knowledge about that, look at that, fucking 3 score. But uh, yeah, it was a fun match. Let's take a look at the Patreons. We have Brendan Markey, Azrael, Casey, Cybaster, Dragon Spartan, Any Gunnam Nuggers, Jeff Dunn, Collab, Maverick, Momoka, Ninja Guy, Twelve, Peter Strick, Tyler, Spud, Oni Savage, Pseudo Souls, Charles, Alimo, Steel Talon, Bad Logic, Minty Rubble, Your Boy Burrito, Bird Person, Mysteries, Mercenary, Giver Taker, Will Stab, Talon, Maeus, Phantom, OC, Adra uh, Viscarian, Xana Ghost, Michael, Bryson, Wolf Lord, Bane Beard, and Dangerous Lee. I want to thank you guys for supporting me. It means a lot, and we shall talk to you guys later.